So, 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 I mean, so, I mean, so, and, 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 oh, hello, 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 and welcome, my very, 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 very few viewers, and what a perfect swap I have behind my back, as I promised in the vlog number one, I changed my bike and uh, I brought the bike from my son and judging by the size of the bike you can tell that my son is by no means not a small human being. Today actually it's not the bike video, it's, it will be the video about my language because as you might have noticed I use the language that pretends to be English. Uh, kind of. To be kind of English. Well, sort of. Sort of pretends to be kind of English. Sort of. I got a bad feeling about this. Today I'm going to explain why is that so. Let us get this video to say. Three likes? I never had this many likes on any other video. You know, so. Three is the number. I was recently asked where my funny accent comes from. Long story short, I'm of course not an English native speaker. I have been to England, to London precisely uh, about 10 years ago for the total of five days and that's all. I never been to any other English speaking country. My language skills comes from the very ancient past and you know the 65 million years ago you know the dinosaurs were erased from the earth surface and then I had no one to speak to anymore in fact it is probably you guys that could help me out with my English by you know by interacting in fact where do I come from I will now greet you in my own language. Hejka, hejka, witam was bardzo, bardzo, bardzo serdecznie, skromna gromadka moich słuchaczy. Toxic aka Imo Dino z tej strony i zapraszam was na moje wideo. O, mam nadzieję, że coś zrozumieliście. So, how was it? Did you get anything? Well, if not, don't worry. To sum it up, the language is Polish. I mean, I live in Poland, and so some say Eastern Europe, some say Central Europe, but it's probably the Eastern Europe quite a strange and difficult language in this. I could be much more funny with my accent, and actually I feel like I'm improving at the moment. I'm speaking a little faster than I was speaking in the previous videos, but it's still a long, long way to go. So what's the problem with using foreign language? The first, very first problem is, for me is of course the lack of practice. Yeah? The lack of practice means I don't have a sufficient vocabulary and I'll have to think uh, about you know the word replacements and this of course takes time this is the reason why i stop so often uh, stop so often uh, i mean i mean stop talking and uh, you know looking like uh, you know the totally lost person uh, i mean the key the fluent speaking in language is I mean, not to have to think about what word to use. And to do that, uh, you are actually shouldn't be learning words. Instead, you should be learning the whole sentences. I mean, to have your, the whole sentences if you're in your mind uh, ready to use. Not just to think about what was the word, what was the word, and there is, this is the, this is the moment where this uh, are, you know, the changing the... Uh, oh, well, in fact, it, it was just like 
ju just the very thing I was talking about. I mean, the changing the direction of the sentence goes. It comes from the fact that actually um, working on finding the correct, I mean, the proper, the, the, the most fitting word to use. And this takes time. My brain is thinking, but my mouth. <laughs> <sighs> my mouth is not moving at the moment. So this is the reason for the heavy editing I always do in my videos. As I will have more sentences ready, I will probably be more fluent, faster and stuff. The second reason for me stopping so often is where when my autocorrection uh, is involved. I mean I do a lot of you know, pronunciation errors and mis you know you do this. mistakes I mean I mean the, the pronunciation mistakes and as as I am in the middle of the next word I just realized that I just have made a mistake and well the perfect man me uh, is is really keen on you know correcting the mistakes so I stop in the middle of the next word and getting back to the mistakes to be to be you know corrected I should have I should have had some prompter in the front of myself so so as to you know to read and have no problems at all so I would like to show you how I sound if I don't have to think about the, you know, the word meaning and build sentences and stuff. This is the book I bought for Pipes Lotus. It is one and a half dollar, I think. And this is a accidentally book about the plain English. And we're gonna be reading it. Here is the sentence, I mean the one in bold font. Remember that at the moment I don't have to think about the words. I can focus on being expressive. So here it goes. In the case of contracts where all or certain terms offered to the consumer are in writing, these terms must always be drafted in plain intelligible language. Where there is doubt about the meaning of the term, the interpretation most favorable to the consumer shall prevail. So, here is how I sound if I don't have to think. <laughs> sort of. And now, the second part is a little quiz for you. I'm going to read a paragraph from the book, the problem will be, it will all be in Polish. Say what? The riddle for you is, what book does it come from? Okay, so here we go. Rozdział pierwszy. Nieproszeni goście. W pewnej norze ziemnej mieszkał sobie pewien hobbit. Nie była to szkaradna, brudna, wilgotna nora, rojąca się od robaków i cuchnąca błotem. Ani też sucha, naga, piaszczysta nora bez stołka, na którym można by usiąść i bez dobrze zaopatrzonej spiżarni. Była to nora hobbita, a to znaczy nora z wygodami. So, the riddle for you. What book is it from? Famous book. Leave me a comment. Try to answer it. I know you can do it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. Leave me a thumb up if you like. And be seeing you in the next videos. See ya, bye.